everybody, Grit21 back with a, another video. And finally, I'm covering the long, I guess sort of long awaited and most questioned video. Well, maybe not most questioned, but definitely most talked about video on my channel, which is Sony Vegas's now just called Vegas Pro GPU acceleration support. Um, those of you ha who have been subbed to my channel, if you saw my videos, thanks YouTube algorithms, uh, you'll know that there's been at least three videos talking about the lack of support, lack of functionality of GPU acceleration in Vegas Pro. Now, I've been a longtime Vegas Pro user. I have followed its development. I have used Vegas Pro 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 14 and now version 16 and I actually upgrade every other version because honestly the incremental stuff is just so small it's ridiculous um, hopefully that will change now that Magic's actually owns Vegas Pro which is the first thing I want to talk about yes um, Sony finally sold off the Vegas Pro product line to Magic's thank you Magic's for buying it and from my understanding through poking around, talking to different people, um, gathering some resources. Apparently what happened was Sony did like a number on Vegas Pro as a whole in development in the sense that um, the code that makes GPU acceleration work was a mess. Um, they basically had to go into the software and like basically change some coding on the software to make that actually work the way it's supposed to. Now, I've been using uh, Vegas Pro 14 um, and was having issues with GPU acceleration not working. And now, since I've upgraded my computer, it doesn't even show up at all as an option in the sense that my graphics card is not listed at all. And I think it might have to do with either the fact that my hardware is newer because I'm running an AMD Ryzen 2 2700 or some other jankiness that I don't know what the problem is, which affects the fact I can't use new blue effects zoom transitions because Magic's decided to do, I don't know, it just, it was a bundle thing that just ended up working out. Long story, pointless. Um, so, what I'm more interested in talking about is just Vegas Pro by itself. What works, what doesn't work. Um, so here we are, Vegas Pro 16. First of all, such finally it has dark mode, which I absolutely am in love with. So much easier on the on the eyes, especially for like late night editing sessions. Um, so first, I want to get something out of cleared out of the way. You'll notice 11% GPU, 12% video engine because I'm recording with OBS Studio. So just understand there's gonna be a small margin of error um, because of what my GP was actually currently doing. Uh, with that out of the way, first thing I wanna talk about is actually timeline scrubbing. Now, right now, the only effect I have is brightness and contrast on this on these videos, which came from my Overwatch highlight reel video that I posted a couple days ago. These videos were exported out of Overwatch's um, play of the game export. Uh, I don't know what I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's just it's a play of the game like export thing. Um, and so these videos are all from. All from that imported in, these are all .mp4, 1080p, 60fps videos brought into Vegas Pro, arranged in my timeline how I want to, and if you would observe how smooth our timeline scrubbing actually is, like you could even go like like frame for frame if you wanted to, or just get every single like frame in this. Um, so, and, th and remember, this is just with brightness and contrast. So imagine what other effects you could apply on it and how smooth the playback is. Um, so, for 1080p footage, it's good. I wish I had some 4K footage. I unfortunately do not have 4K footage to use. I don't even know if ProRes um, 4K video is supported. I think it might be, but I don't know. Um, again, I don't use red weapon cameras. I can't exactly tell you whether or not it is supported, but it at least is something that, uh, is worth testing for sure. Um, to show you here, so in the preferences of Vegas Pro, my 980 Ti is detected by Vegas Pro, um, 
and if there's an unfortunate I don't know if there's a way I can maybe I can like kind of like shift this a little bit only I can do some weird like janky shifting here so I can actually just try to get the point across it's not oh give me a second okay maybe this will work come on come on there we go okay cool so if you'll um we're gonna play this and you'll see that the GPU load has gone up to about 20% only because again margin of error so let's do like if we did like uh it's probably only using about like 10% more um 10 or 13% more on my GPU and maybe only like 1% more on my on the video engine because I'm recording the OBS but you can see that playback is really good um so that works for those of you that need to do like frame for frame scrubbing 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 um <laughs> of, of your timeline it works now with vegas pros upgrade we were get, we have two new render formats which is really nice or not formats codecs sorry um the one that i've been have been using but still testing is the 1920 by 1080 uh, this is my bitrate, and then this is the NV encoder uh, encode mode. Now, those of you guys who use OBS Studio, you should be familiar that uh, OBS uses the NVENC encoder, or not, well, I guess encoder? Yeah, because it, it's hardware acceleration. Um, the NV encoder is just the shorter, it's just a shorthand way of saying basically NVENC, as it obviously says in the description of this format. Um, and I'm actually going to do a live render test. Now, the other thing that I've had, that I've noticed, and this is just because YouTube is weird. Um, if anybody's ever noticed that a lot of YouTubers are going 4k, uh, it is because YouTube's compression is garbage and you have, and people have to lo render like really stupidly high f bit rates, which example 4k and this high bit right here and this preset quality high and everything else because when i went to try to upload this video originally this is a 1080p video i had to upload this as a 4k video because for some reason youtube just kept squashing the quality of my video for whatever lord knows reason why um so if you're ever finding that your video is getting like really destroyed in quality switch it up to 4k and then go with a higher bit rate um and then just you can copy these exact render settings if you want to give it a shot yourself do some experimenting and testing yourself um so there's the avc aac encoder then there's the hevc aac now this one um i haven't had too much success with um and i'm not exactly sure why um i haven't had a chance to really like test this particular uh encoder yet i do would i would like to do some testing with it and see if i can get better results than the preset that i've created for myself but the reason why i'm showing you all of this there is a reason i'm sorry to go down a rabbit trail but there is a reason for it we're gonna do a 1080p 60f render with a uh maximum bit rate of two 240 million average 150 million uh using the nv encoder Preset high quality, uh, RC mode. I don't know what RC mode is. If somebody knows what that is, put it in the comments so I can be a little bit more educated about what about that. But we're gonna go ahead and do the, do this. Let me make sure it's saved. It sometimes saving encoder settings doesn't exactly work. We're gonna do this as a test render. I'm gonna name this uh, NVENC encoder, so you guys can actually see that it is indeed actually rendering what it's supposed to so i'm going to click render remember margin of error because we are using obs um but you can see the gpu load went up and the video engine sort of went up and my overclock is actually kicking in on top of rendering which helps it a lot um and you'll notice that we have an estimated render time of two minutes now what i have noticed is that there's a lot of hammering of the GPU and a lot of hammering of the CPU and a lot of RAM usage. I think what is theoretically going on is that the CPU and the GPU might be passing bits of the video information through RAM to encode it. I don't know if it's encoding in RAM or not. Um, those of you who use other editing software, maybe you could enlighten me if that's actually correct, that it's encoding it in RAM and then exporting it as a video. Again, this is something that I haven't exactly 
Um, this is sort of new because like this particular render format is sort of new for me. So I don't know exactly what is correct and or not. I think that's what's happening. Um, but I wanted to just show an actual real time render. And I mean, GPU loads up to like 40. Uh, video engines around like 10 or so. Uh, margin of error 10 because OBS. Um, but we're going to head and actually just let it like sit live render i might actually speed through this just to sh just to show the the render itself so we're not sitting here and i'm trying to grab things to talk about um but yeah these are these are some improvements um this is its total ram usage obs is using an excessive amount of ram because it's probably encoding a lot itself but yeah that's what it, it is actually indeed using the gpu and it is indeed using all 16 cores of my 2700 which is fantastic um there were a lot of people that said they had slow render times as for why you had slow render times i don't really know it really like my results of what i'm gonna get are gonna vary to your results you may get a different result you may get a shorter render time you may get a re longer render time it really just depends on per system i think that my system seems to be really well optimized probably just the mix of hardware just happens to be absolutely beautiful um but your mileage is going to vary when it comes to render time. So always keep that in mind. We got another 28 seconds. So about 2 minute 40, 2 minutes and 40, almost 3 minutes. That's not too bad, honestly. And we also have to understand, too, that it's going to be a little bit more delayed because we are filming the results as it's happening. Um, I'll go ahead and it's going to... And basically it is done. So we're going to head and open up the folder. There's our video. Go ahead and play it. And there you go. Perfectly rendered 1080p footage using GV Acceleration out of Vegas Pro 16. Um, so I hope this is an answer for a lot of people. Finally, I'm sorry for delaying this video. Um, if you have any more questions or whatever, just put it in the comment section below. But I just, I really wanted to talk about this. I have been planning to talk about it wasn't sure how because this is a really like broad subject and unfortunately the other half of this story is that there is not a lot of documentation online about this um about what magix was doing what sony was doing um what results were what i don't know why the vegas community just isn't great about posting about stuff like this unless you go on like some really like offbeat forums or whatever but i thought that i would finally hit the nail on the head talk about this issue get it out there that yes vegas pro 16 the gb acceleration is fixed both for timeline scrubbing and for rendering your render time should hopefully theoretically go down if you have a really optimal system Magix is apparently continuing to develop support for this. Um, as for updates, I don't know exactly what they have. I do know that there have been some instances where I've had some crashes with Vegas Pro, um, probably because of maybe the way that I split my windows up to, cause I like, what I'll do is I'll have like a giant timeline view like in this main screen and I'll throw like my preview, my mixers, my media bins, my uh, transitions, and everything else on another screen and then I'll use this third screen for previewing. So I'm not sure if that triple monitor thing, if that's something that Vegas is having a cow over exactly. I'm Again, if somebody knows the answer to that one, put in the comments so I know what's going on and we can all sort of stick together and try to educate each other because it doesn't help if we know something we don't share it so um i hope this video was helpful if it was i hate to, I hate to sound like a cliche um you know don't just like the video share this like actually share this with somebody that could actually use this video um you know my goal is to educate people as much as possible and enlighten everybody so they understand um if you want to talk to this you want to talk to me about this a little bit more extensively um i really would encourage you to please go check out my twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash grid 21 i am way more active on twitch than youtube um and i also hate to put another cliche but you know the little subscribe thing and there's like a little bell thingy if you could like hit that so you know that when i post a video because not because like i'm trying to sound cliche but because i'm trying to actually offer really good advice and i hope it's useful enough that it's worth your time but my video should be worth your time um, so until then, thank you guys so, so much. Have an awesome day. 
or night or holiday or Christmas or New Year's, uh, whenever you watch this, it is currently uh, the 12th of December, uh, December 12th, no, December 22nd, 2018. I am really bad with dates. Blame dyslexia for that one. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you guys later.